Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I've recorded. Obviously, it's not been that long since I've uploaded a video, but it's been uh, basically the holiday break for me. I, I had, you know, a lot of videos stockpiled, but for the past, gosh, almost a month, I have not been able to record. So I have a lot of, a lot of figures stockpiled, a lot of figures I have been eagerly waiting to unbox and open on the channel for you guys today so uh starting with this doc Ock and aunt may two pack here uh this is something i honestly i wasn't planning on getting uh i i happened to get around like 60 dollars so i i i had some money to spend and um well, I've been wanting that Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2 that just got released not too long ago. Uh, a part of the, like, No Way Home uh, wave, kind of. A part of that little uh, series there. Uh, but I can't find that figure anywhere. And, uh, well, I really want a Doc Ock. So I figured this is kind of like the best of both worlds. I, I still get a Doc Ock. It's a part of the animated Spider-Man TV series, which is something I grew up with and I am in love with. Uh, I'm not the the craziest about the Aunt May figure. The Aunt May figure doesn't look all that amazing, and I don't really have any other figures to go along with really either of these two. I don't have a very strong animated uh, collection going on. I'd like to, to work on that. I really want to get the Peter Parker and Alistair Smythe two-pack. But that's also a, another expensive two-pack. And then, obviously, there's Craven, But Craven's you know, it has that weird face. And there's a lot of figures I'd like to pick up from the animated series. But for now, this is uh, kind of like my little introduction to, uh, to Doc Ock. So that's pretty exciting. From what I've heard, this figure is pretty decent. So I guess we'll find out. And I guess we'll see how Aunt May is, too uh once we get to it but let's go ahead and let's just jump into it starting with the front of the box you do have this beautiful packaging here obviously it's windowless but you know i think windowless really 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 excels in packaging like this this vhs style packaging i think it looks really really wonderful here if you're not a fan of the windowless packaging obviously your opinions may vary but i think this is where uh, it is strongest right here, this this style of packaging. Uh, you have this really beautiful artwork here of Doc Ock and Aunt May in the nice classic 90s VHS style packaging. I think it looks really, really good. You have this classic Spider-Man logo up there at the top. Plastic-free packaging. Hasbro down there at the bottom. On the side of the box, of course, you have the logo again one more time. And then the same artwork that's on the front, just on the side right there. On the back of the box, you have a little preview of the two figures right there. Both of them look fine. Uh, of course, we'll get to see how they look in person here in a little bit. But, you know, this Doc Ock looks pretty entertaining, and Aunt May, of course, looks like Aunt May. Then we have the, the actual VHS style of the box, so if you wanted to display it and have it look like you have some, uh, some VHSs right here, there you go. This works perfectly fine. Uh, of course, I don't care too, too much about that. I probably won't end up keeping this. I did, the last time I had the VHS style packaging was with the, uh, Sinister and, oh god, what's his name? Uh, Morph. Uh, I got those two figures from Hasbro as kind of like a replacement. And, uh, I, I kept those boxes, surprisingly enough. I actually just used them. Uh, I'm working on a second diorama, kind of, kind of like a little teaser for what that's going to be. I'm, I'm making a little arcade, uh, and so far it's coming along really, really nice. But I need to make some little accessories. Like I, I need to make a little trash can. I need to make some tables, some chairs, stuff like that. And I needed some cardboard, and the only cardboard I had in the house was these boxes. So. Uh, I've actually had those VHS style uh, boxes since I did those reviews, and uh, today was the day <laughs> that they they uh, ended. I guess is how you could put it. But you know they were put to decent use. Obviously, um, I guess it's up to interpretation. But you know 
surprisingly, those were boxes that I kept. Typically, I'm not the type to keep packaging like this, uh, at least not for very long. Uh, and then we're back to the front of the box, so we can go ahead and transition to the figures. Okay, we'll see how long he stays standing. He's a little back heavy, obviously. Um, with this two-pack, you don't get too much. Obviously, that's kind of expected. Uh, one, it's a two-pack, and two, it's a two-pack with essentially a deluxe figure, which is kind of interesting. That is something they've been doing a lot more lately, like with the Venom two-pack with Noel and, uh... With the Hulk and Bruce Banner. Interesting concept. You would think they'd want to package two normal figures together and save some money. I don't know. It's interesting why they do that. But they do that. But that leads to you receiving less accessories. Which is on one hand fine. Especially with what you get here. Uh, starting with Aunt May's accessories. For some reason she comes with two fist hands. Don't ask me why. It's not like you'd see her fighting or anything like that. Ignore my hands, by the way. I have been painting a lot, so they're very filthy with paint. Uh, it's not like she'd be fighting a whole lot. Um, I don't know what you would really give her, though. Maybe like a coffee holding hand or something. Uh, let's just start with her. We'll go over Doc Ock and his accessories in a little bit. Um... I don't know what to say. She looks fine. She looks a little weird, let's be honest. Um, I'm trying to think why she looks so bizarre. And I, I think what it might be is her hair is lacking white. It looks very young, her hair. Uh, and then her face looks incredibly old. I don't know why. I know that's they're going based off of the design for the animated show, but it kind of works a little bit better in animation, obviously. Uh, but on the figure, it just looks so, um, odd. It kind of looks like, um, the, uh, oh God, what's that movie? I keep seeing TikToks of it. Uh, it's the girl... Uh, and she has, uh, like, autism, and she creates a, a squeeze box, and then she has a roommate who is blind. <laughs> she kind of looks like that girl, to be perfectly honest. Uh, just in her face, she looks a little weird. It is a nice head sculpt, obviously. Uh, it just looks a little wonky in some areas, like, especially if you turn it to the side. A little weird right here. Front facing looking at it from the front it looks fine uh her nice blue attire looks very nice obviously she's not going to articulate very well all the way down to her purple heels which are admittedly a little difficult to get her to stand on uh but it works fine enough uh she's not going to articulate well because look at her uh but i think they do fine with what they have first off let's go over her head which can go back not at all forward a little bit actually that's on uh disc so i can make it go forward even more make it go back even more that looks a lot better wiggle side to side obviously because it's also on a ball uh rotates all the way around like so arms come up to about right there which is fine rotates all the way around like so single jointed arms only comes up to about right there wrist goes in Wrist goes out, wrist goes all the way around. As far as ab crunch goes, slight wiggle rotates all the way around like so. That's pretty much it. If you force it, maybe you can kind of reveal some of her uh, articulation. It looks like she has some type of ab, ab crunch way up here, but not much. This seems... <laughs> odd this choice here having the skirt only go up to right there I don't know I guess why would it go up any higher if they don't need it to but if you bend it even just a little bit you start to see the seam I don't know uh double jointed knees yes they are double jointed goes to about right there honestly not hindered too much by the skirt but that does look a little weird. I assume it rotates. It does rotate somewhere in there. 
uh, rotation down here at the ankle, kinda, where, somewhere. Yeah, it, it'll rotate, you just gotta kind of force it, and then ankle goes up, ankle goes down like so. That is Aunt May. Obviously, I wanted to get through her relatively quickly because she is not what we're here for. We are here for Doc Ock. So his accessories, minus the arms, are these two fist hands, which look as good as fist hands usually look on your action figures. I, I like these. I think they look pretty decent. On the actual figure itself, we have one of the, uh, like, a oh, you'll rue the day, or, like, maybe he's holding, like, an apple or something like that. On the He Who Remains I have, he is holding an apple in that style of hand. And then this one, of course, would hold, like, a pipe or whatever you'd want him to hold. A sword, I guess, if you wanted him to hold a sword. Um, nice hands, I guess. Nice look overall. He looks... This is one of my favorite looks for Dr. Octavius. This kind of, like, hazmat style suit that's just, like, permanently affixed to his character. Uh, because, obviously, you can't really change your clothes too, too often once you have giant metal arms attached to your spine at all times. Uh, I, obviously, the trench coat and um, kind of, like, the more laboratory-esque attire is very iconic, but when I think of Doc Ock, I think of this specifically, and it looks absolutely wonderful. You have the nice orange accents, the green. Uh, this looks <laughs> so 90s, and I love it. The boots look wonderful. You have these kind of like padded areas on the boots. Same with the arms and all of that. The back, of course, this does stick out quite a bit. It has to. It looks a little wonky, but I think we can all get over it <laughs> I think we'll survive and then these glasses these glasses look amazing these classically 90s glasses they are painted like they have a reflection going on right there which is fine one of the things that turns me off of these animated style figures with the X-Men or with the uh, Spider-Man animated figures like the symbiote suit which I really really wanted to get but the issue is they're all cell shaded, except for the ones that aren't, like this one. This one's not cell shaded, as you can see, except for the glasses. <laughs> and then you go and buy, like, uh, animated Peter, not cell shaded. You buy animated Spider Man, is cell shaded. I don't get why uh, they did that. I don't get one why they cell shaded at all. It looks really, really bad. And if it's something that you like, um, I feel like it's easier for you to add it to your figure rather than it is for us to take it off of our figures. Uh, it's always easier to to add something to a character than it is to take it away. So I really just, I wish they never did that. And now we have this whole animated wave that's just so, it's so ruined, to be perfectly honest. A across the board, it's just, you can't. You can't collect a full wave because you're either dealing with uh, cell shaded or not cell shaded. And it's not, you can't have a complete set. It's so frustrating. Like Venom, cell shaded. Doc Ock not. Like, I don't get why they did that. Ugh, it's so annoying. So I'm glad he doesn't have a lot of cell shading on him. But then the glasses, I don't get it. I think the glasses look great, but you have that little detail there. I don't get it. Uh, but that's not a huge issue. Uh, beyond that, we do have these nice gigantic elephants in the room right here. These big, beautiful tendrils sticking out of his arm, out of his back. I almost said out of his arms, but they're sticking out of his back, and they are. Wonderful. Now, a lot of people have been wanting a Doc Ock for years uh, that have the bendy wires, uh, and it's something that, for some reason, has not happened, and I'm not sure why. Uh, as far as I know, the last Doc Ock that got released, let's see, we had, I'm trying to think, I, I, I've never seen it before, like in person, uh, so I, I'm pretty sure that one had just hard plastic tentacles, 
and then that body got reused for the the frog guy, which is an action figure I have. Uh, and then I think that's like the last time we saw Doc Ock until they finally gave us bendy wires. And then they did it again for uh, Spider-Man 2, the live action Doc Ock. He also had bendy wires and I really, really, really want to get that figure. Um, but uh, yeah, for the longest time we've been wanting these bendy wires. They said it was not going to happen. It's too difficult. They can't do it. And then they gave it to us and it looks wonderful it works wonderfully uh my only issue are so this doesn't come with a lot of accessories we've already mentioned that on the actual tentacles themselves we have these bits right here i wish we had swappable pieces we only have the ones that are on the actual figure itself and these do come off this bit right here if you just pull on it this does come out like so and then you can apply something there i assume maybe there's interchangeable pieces somewhere out there uh, i don't know where but uh so that's a little disappointing and then the other thing is these are super duper long and i do appreciate that but you know the classic move he always would wrap up aunt may or whoever he's fighting like so just wrap it around the person he's he's attacking and then you have a nice uh oh my god see this is too difficult wrap it around like so looks pretty cool nice little display right there the arms are a little short for that though so i would have liked to have seen we had these pieces right here that you can pull off I would have liked to have seen extenders that you can just plop on right there and extend it just a little bit to give us that nice, uh, nice grabby feature right there. Uh, and then, of course, it's kind of hard to execute. Maybe that's something I'll, uh, I'll pull off off camera. But, you know, something like that would have been cool. But beyond that, I sound like I'm complaining a lot. Let me make it clear. These are great. Beyond those two issues, these are absolutely wonderful. They look great. They are a little heavy, so he's going to be kind of difficult to stand. As you can see, I'm kind of holding him as I move him around. If I let go, he's just going to fall. So he's a little heavy in the back. That's the only other issue. Beyond those three things, absolutely wonderful. They look great. They feel great. They move wonderfully. Obviously, with time these will <laughs> break which is expected but i'd rather have something cool that lasts a little while than something lame that lasts forever you know uh so these just bend in any direction you want them to and it looks absolutely wonderful uh very much a fan of these beyond that uh oh i guess i should explain they just plug in right there. Not too difficult to get in. It's a little, a little annoying. You just plug that in right there. You kind of have to get it perfect for it to go in, but it's not the hardest thing in the world. See, it didn't take me too long to get it done there. Uh, so I guess we can talk about the actual figure articulation, starting with the head. Oh my God, this is going to be such a pain. Maybe I should take these off while I do that. That might be the easiest uh thing right now it'll ruin the look but you know i think we'll survive starting with the head of course it goes up like so absolutely wonderful goes down like so i think does the neck move independently yes so the neck moves a little bit on its own so you can go back and forth side to side if he's listening it's a uh, night at the rocks fair with this guy right here um, rotates all the way around like so. Arms come up to about, ooh, gosh, ooh, careful. About right there. Be careful of this joint. It is looking like it's very loose already. Rotate all the way around. If you can get past these shoulder pieces, which are very stiff. So they're gonna, they're gonna fight you on that if you... <clears throat> Sorry. I had a burp. If you try, they're gonna fight you, but... Uh, the, it will go all the way around, obviously. You just have to trust me on that one. Double jointed, 
pinless elbows can only go to about right there because these are thick on both ends. This bicep and his his gauntlet right there kind of prevents him from going any further. This specific wrist can go down and up and rotate all the way around. This one right here will go in and out and rotate all the way around like so. Ab crunch is a unique aspect for this figure. It doesn't have the typical ab crunch you would see right there. Uh, it's kind of like down there. It works. You can go side to side, go forward just a hair, back just a hair. I'm fine with that. I think that's perfectly fine. I think that's perfectly acceptable. Obviously, we've seen a Doc Ock that is capable of having the app crunch. Like I mentioned, the we've seen it used for the uh, the frog guy. That specific body, it had app crunch. Was it the best? No. But it had app crunch. But I think this works just as well as that did. So, honestly, I don't really care. Take it or leave it. However you want to do it to make this figure work in the best way possible. And I think this works just as well. I do appreciate having the side to side. So I think that's, it's a bonus. It's a little baby bonus, you know, little Brucey bonus right there. You just lose a little bit, I think. Not a ton, obviously. This figure wouldn't have that much to begin with anyway. So it's not the end of the world, but... I don't know. I'm ha I'm happy with it. I think it's more than adequate. Legs go up to about right there. You can do the splits um, to about right there. Rotation at the thigh. Rotates all the way around like so. Rotation at the boot. No, sir. Double jointed pinless knees can come up to about right there. I'm noticing a lot with this figure. The the joints are a little worrisome. Uh, like right here is a little like I'm scared that's gonna break right here it feels fine but it also feels like it could just snap just like that um, I don't know I'm a little a little worried uh, these do come back a little more than average I would say looking good though uh, yeah no swivel here at the boot that's interesting I would have thought no, nothing. Ankle goes down, ankle goes up, and it goes all the way around like so. So you can have them stand basically however you want. Uh, and then with the arms, you have to kind of find the balance, but still, as long as you have the arms, I guess. And that is it for this figure. I think this is wonderful, is how I would put it. Like, good great no but good um i'm happy with this i'm very happy with this this is about what i was wanting for a figure i wasn't wanting <laughs> uh so that's a way to put it is it the doc ock i want no but is it a doc ock and does it represent doc ock in an absolutely wonderful way absolutely uh not to repeat words over and over again like I usually do but yes I think this is a truly great figure you do get this weird looking Aunt May that I think you know it's not it's not like this Aunt May is a bad figure uh, it's just not a figure I care about uh, and now that I have it I feel compelled to get other animated uh, characters Green Goblin Mary Jane Peter Parker all those guys to kind of make her feel less out of place in my collection. Because she just articulates in the weirdest way. Um, but, you know, I, I would have rather had a deluxe Doc Ock for 30 than a 2-pack for 50. Is kind of how I feel. Um, but I'm still, I'm still happy with what we got. I think this is a wonderful little 2-pack. Um... Yeah, I guess that's exactly how I'd put it. I'm I'm happy with what I got. So that's really that's really where you can just end it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, all the things YouTubers ask you to do. Just do it for me as well. And I will be back with another video, hopefully very, very soon. Bye!